Okay. Okay. We are ready to start. We still have people uh, entering the room, but since we already have more than 60 participants out of the more than 200 that registered for this webinar, we're gonna start on time, at least two minutes after the scheduled time. So we can take advantage and have full advantage of the one hour webinar we have today with a very interesting topic. So uh, greetings and welcome to the last webinar in English of this semester. Uh, thank you for accepting our invitation as usual. His is pleased to continue providing special support to the students and academic community of our member institutions in Puerto Rico, the US and Latin America as part, as part of our vision and mission and also the general public Bella, who also uh, a, uh, take advantage of these webinars as well. Therefore, uh, Free of, ch of charge webinars and virtual events like this one has been coordinated on different topics. So we can continue Bella, uh, offering this service to our members. Today, uh, our webinar is titled Entrepreneurship and Internet Technology with Dr. Pablo Rodriguez already in the room from EDP University and also part of one of our corporate members from Puerto Rico top level domain. And in this webinar, Pablo will talk about entrepreneurship and internet technology to develop and promote your business or personal brand. And during this presentation, uh, Pablo will discuss how to create an internet present, build your online business or personal brand, and use the internet platform to promote your business and personal brand again. We are glad to have registered for this webinar more than 200 students from more than 30 institutions in the US, Puerto Rico, and Latin America including organizations, and I will mention the names in alphabetical order for the benefit of Pablo, who, who knows who is here in Bella, registered for this chat, and also to welcome our participants. First of all, we have from American University participations, also from Univers uh, Universidad Ana Gemendez or Ana Gemendez University, Antillian University, Aspira, uh, I believe here in Puerto Rico. Also, we have from Atenas College, we have from Caribbean University, Central Luciana Technical College, Colegio Universitario de San Juan. We also have from Columbia Central University, College of Staten Island in New York, uh, as part of the CUNY members that we have there. We also have from Delgado Community College, Dewey University, EDP University, Hostos. Community College, Humacao Community College, ICPR Junior College, eh, Instituto Tecnológico de Puerto Rico, Interamerican University of Puerto Rico, Nook University, Palm Beach State College, uh, North Shore Technical College, Ponce Health Science University, Pont Pontificia Universidad Católica de Puerto Rico. We also have from Queensboro Community College, one of our CUNY members in New York, from Southeastern University, from Universidad del Sagrado Corazón, from Unitech, Universidad Albizu, Universidad Central de Bayamón. Tenemos, uh, we also have from Universidad Cooperativa de Colombia. Hi, uh, uh, welcome to the Colombian students and administrators and faculty. We also have from the Universidad de Puerto Rico, Universidad Politécnica, and from Boltz Medical College. Welcome to all, and we hope that you can enjoy and benefit from this webinar. Remember to use the chat to write down your questions or doubts to clarify uh, your doubts on this topic. And also we are recording, as you may see in the welcoming message, uh, presentation that we uh, present, uh, please uh, remember to keep your microphone mute until the last session of the Q&A uh, session, Bella, when, we, when 
or organizing, ¿verdad? When we, you can open your microphones in an organized way to interact and make your questions. And also you can use the chat to put your doubts and your questions, as we mentioned before. I would also like to emphasize that to obtain a certificate of, part of participation that is very popular for these webinars is totally free of charge. Just need to click uh, on the link indicated on the chat or use your uh, mobile and use the camera to uh, uh, point to the QR, a, a QR that you have here on the screen. And please, that, that will take you to a form that you have to submit your name, your institution, and your email. And please make sure you put the correct email because if the correct email is not correct, you cannot receive your certificate. Certificates will be sent only to those who complete this form in the next week. So please allow us at least two weeks to receive the certificate and make sure again that the email is correct because the certificates will be sent by email. Also, we invite you to join us in our next event that will be for next semester and help us to promote it. This will be a, uh, the 220 a Academic Fair and a, in collaboration with the Zoom Student Experience Summit. Stephanie, if you can uh, put the promotion that we already have in our website in next event. And also if you follow us in Bella, in the in, in our social media, you can see already this promotion running. This will be on February 16, 17, 2022 at the Puerto Rico Convention Center. And will be from a, it's gonna uh, uh, be uh, happening from 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And in this summit, uh, uh, we are inviting uh, to participate on this academic summit where the industry and the higher education will merge to offer students exhibitions, experiential pavilions, also plenaries about the industry and education, and also some concurring questions, uh, workshops as well. So if you need more information, uh, please uh, contact us. And in the email, in the flyer, you will see the contact information. And to register, just click on the link that we, uh, we have on the chat to register and have the vela uh, and, and be there uh, in one of the two days that the event will be happening. Also, we invite you to access the HEADS website and benefit from the student support services we offer free of charge uh, to support your academic goals. For example, we have a HEADS offers you a, a free access to the Peterson Text Press where you can find scholarships either for undergraduate or graduate studies, also practice tests and, and download the eBooks to prepare for the tests like PCAT, LSAT, GRE, NCAT, DAT, among others. We have more than 100 uh, tests over there. And also we have another uh, database that is called Peterson Career Fred. And in the next slides, uh, Stephanie has offered also free access to this Peterson Career Prep where you can do a job or internship search. Also, you can create your resume in a very neat uh, resource or tool that this platform has. Have, excuse me. Also, look for career advice among other services. And if you don't know the access code, to access these, uh, the steps are very easy. You just need to go to heads.org in the menu of the virtual plaza, click on the, on the student placita, click on either on the Peterson Career Fred or the Peterson Test Fred, uh, look on the list of the institution, click on your institution and just put the passcode of your institution. If you don't have the passcode, Feel free to put the name of your institution on the chat and Karen, Dr. Karen Rivera, our consulting of Heads Student Support Services. Karen, sir, hi. So everybody knows who, who is the, who are you? Hi, good afternoon. Karen will give you your password in a in a in a 
private chat because each institution have a different pass, uh, passcode. And with this passcode, you just follow the steps. If you want to take a screen screen or, or a photo of these steps, and when you have the passcode, you can enter one of the two or both databases and access those services totally free of charge. If you don't find your institution in the list that we have there, don't worry said uh, uh, that uh, the name of your institution uh, anyway, and we will give you a generic password. In the meantime, we invite your institution to join heads, okay? Uh, so don't worry, everybody can access these databases. If, uh, again, uh, Karen will be ta uh, taking care of the chat. If, if just put the name of your institution if you want to access this. Uh, services. Those are the only ones who need the passcodes. The other services and the, at the student placita are totally free of charge and you don't need any passcode to enter, just these two databases. So now we are ready. We are already coordinating the topics for the spring semester starting in January 22. So please stay tuned. Follow us in our social media accounts as heads org. And uh, Stephanie can uh, check, uh, show you in the next uh, slide how many uh, that we have different social media. We have uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. So select uh, either all or one of them to, to learn and get all the details of our next events that we will be starting in January. We will be posting the next events that we are already coordinating. Finally, after the webinar, you will, you will receive by email the link to complete a brief electronic survey to help us evaluate this webinar. We will also like your input to help us uh, identify what other services and initiative has can offers to support students and how to promote them. The most easy way to promote these services, uh, this uh, electronic surveys is anony anonymous and consists of only 14 multiple choice questions. And also some of the questions has a space for your feedback. Uh, you only need five minutes, less than five minutes to finish that. And remember your feedback is very valuable to us. Now we are ready to start today's webinar, but before we start uh, today's topic, we I want to share a summary of Dr. Pablo Rodriguez's extensive uh, career and experience. And here you see some bullets, but let me share that Pablo Rodriguez is the C level uh, is a C level executive experience in cloud computing operations client services. A product development and strategic management with ample M experience interacted with telecom clients and suppliers on a global basis, directly involved in creating and implementing, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> best practices policies, thus ensuring mission critical services and deliver mitigation risks and promotion business continuity. Dr. Rodriguez served in, very, in various capacity, capacities with Register.com from 1996 to 2003, na namely ma managing business opportunities with the Latin America and Caribbean domain name market. In 2003, we recruit, was recruited by Puerto Rico top level domain uh, to implement sales and marketing strategies, strategies where he is currently the executive vice president. Dr. Rodriguez was involved in the confirm, confirmation of the North America, American region that gave way for the creation of the country code name supporting organization. And he's currently serving as vice chair of the name supporting organization and consular for the North American region. In addition, <clears throat> since August 2022, he served as a director of EDP University's graduate school. And Dr. Rodriguez finally holds, very important, a, a bachelor degree in biology 
from the City University of New York, CUNY, and an MBA in Technology Management from the University of Phoenix. And recently, he obtained his doctoral degree of management in organizational leadership, specializing in information systems and technology from the University of Phoenix as well. Welcome, Dr. Pablo Foros, since he's a very uh, uh, active collaborator of his, and it's not the first time he has shared his experience, but it's the first time we have a webinar with him, and we are very excited for that. Go ahead, Pablo. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Montalvo, and thank you to the staff that is supporting us here. I want to um, offer season's uh, greetings and, ho and happy holidays to all. And uh, I, it is a privilege and an honor to be here with so many students from so many universities. But as you already mentioned, I am a um, CUNY alumni. So I want to take this opportunity to send a shout out to my uh, brothers from Staten Island, um, from Queensboro, as well as Hostos Community uh, College. And these are all uh, institutions, fine institutions that I know for a long time, and I hold dear in my heart. Um, likewise, I also want to send a shout out to all the universities here in Puerto Rico, and it is a great privilege and an honor to share with you the knowledge that I've gathered throughout so many years of experience in this industry. So without further ado, let me share my presentation. Please bear with me just a moment. Yes, a and very innovative are. presentation. Pablo, can you raise a little bit your volume? Because I don't know if me, but I hear you like kind of far. Just a little bit. Okay. For the recording. Thank Is that you. that better? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Excellent. Go ahead. So the idea, the idea today is that we are going to be discussing entrepreneurship, but I don't want you to think that entrepreneurship and that my presentation is going to be specifically about developing a business and developing the various tools that are needed for a business. The same knowledge and technologies that you need to know to develop a business and to manage a business are easily transferable to personal branding. Regardless of your interest in developing a business or whether your interest is about personal branding, the tools and the, the guidelines, the knowledge that is required to do so are the same and easily transferable from one to the next, but you will see this along. So, here we are. We are going to discuss a few things. Entrepreneurial learning has to do with the idea that you need to, you need to be able to gather a few concepts. And these concepts are mostly based in three, in three modules. The first one, the, the first component of entrepreneurial learning involves personal and social emergence. And what does that mean? It has to do with who are you? How do you perceive yourself? How do you want others to perceive you? In other words, do you want to be perceived as a business person? Do you want to be perceived as an expert who can be offering services to other companies, to small companies, to large companies? How do you want, how do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself? How do you wish others can see you? What are the steps to do that? Well, the first thing is that you need to develop an entrepreneurial identity. And that entrepreneurial identity, as I mentioned earlier, has to do with who are you and how do you consider you are? A sense of self and those future aspirations. 
Where are you right now? Where would you like to be? How do you get there? So let's take, for example, let's say that you decide that you would like to be a business person. You have a product and or a service that you would like to offer, and you would like to get as many people to find out about your product or service beyond the, ge the geographical region where you are. For example, let's say that you are living in Dallas and you're offering services um, that are related to uh, manufacturing, a particular machine, a particular part, and you would like to offer that to as many companies who are in need and use that particular part. So the first thing that you would like to do is to get to those as many people as you can, and those people are spread throughout the entire nation. How about if you identify potential customers beyond the, the US? How would you get to them? How would you sell to them? How would they find out about you? So these are the things that you need to start knowing where is it that you want to go. And that sense of self is developed throughout your experience in interacting with others. And, and we will see that early, um, um, soon. So education and career formation is another step that currently you're going through that. And as you interact with your family, with friends, with your teachers, with um, professionals such as these in the heads organization, they can guide you and they can shape the way that you're thinking about how you will approach your life. And in the future, what is that life gonna look like? So that role of family is going to help you. And that extended family involves all of us and everyone that you know, because each one of us are going to be sharing with you information that in one way or another is gonna shape where are you going with this. In other words, are, are, are members of your family already people who are involved in business? Are they, are they selling some type of product and or service? Are you experiencing that? Did you grow up in a family who, whose members are already entrepreneurs? That is going to affect you in a particular way and is going to prepare you for your own experience. But how about those who like me, who didn't have members who were in the business uh, or, or who were not related in the industry? So you also learn along. It doesn't matter. These individuals who lived in families who are already business people necessarily do not have an advantage over you, but you do. You do have to educate yourself and prepare yourself. And that's why social relationships are so important. So think about this. Who are you? How do you perceive yourself? How do you want to be perceived by others? How do you, how would you like me to see you? How would you like to, uh, how would you like others to see you? How do we, how would you prefer to be recognized? As an expert, as a potential employee? That is also quite valuable. And that is also valid. For example, perhaps you're not interested in having, in developing a business, but you would like to be recognized by a potential employer and a, by a potential employer who could see that you bring value to value to the organization and they will approach you and possibly uh, interview you and then hire you. How would you get there? How could you get someone who has the potential to hire you, to pay attention to you, listen to what you have to say, and get you there? So let's think about those, those, those ideas. And let's talk about 
the contextual learning. It emerges from participation in the community, in the industry, in the university, in your church. Each time you go to uh, the supermarket, you get to see how products are presented. You get to see your influence by your community. Perhaps in your particular community, some products are more uh, popular than others. The industry will also use some products and services that are different than those that you would normally see in other companies and other and also pertaining to networks. And you would say, well, what networks are you talking about? Well, let's, for starters, let's talk about HEADS. HEADS is an organization, a non-for-profit organization that has a tremendous amount of tools, products, and services that are readily available to you at no charge and will help you identify, develop a number of tools and services that will help you get yourself known and catch the attention of others. For example, you can learn how to make your own resume, but you can also get to speak to the counselors at HATS and get ideas. And, and they will help you to identify the potential, um, they, they will be able to help you identify potential services and, and other um, opportunities that are available. And you can take advantage of that and continue to grow. In particular, the summits, the webinars, the various um, um, events that they celebrate will help you identify individuals from many, many um, places within the US nationwide, but at the same time, we can also meet with our colleagues from Colombia, from Mexico, from Puerto Rico, right? And that will make a big difference. That will help you develop your own network of people who think- If I can interrupt uh, Pablo, that we also have, uh, for example, the ambassadors program where one of the benefits for students is not only to be trained to promote our services among their peers, but also uh, networking in the board meetings because some of them are invited uh, to network with the presidents, you know, and other important people at institutions that at the end help them in their careers also receive letter of recommendations for their work. And, you know, a lot of different initiatives that they can definitely take advantage of. Go ahead. Thank you very much. So there you are. There, that is a very concrete way in which you can take advantage of heads and use it to your advantage and to promote yourself and or your business. And how do you do that? The negotiated enterprise, and again, keep in mind that when I'm speaking about the, the enterprise, the business, you can be that business, you can be that product, you can be that service. So necessarily we're not talking, we're not speaking about a business per se. It's up to you to decide which way, what is the path that you want to take. But in this particular, but either way, regardless of what is the path that you choose, the venture emerges from the negotiated relationship with others. When you speak to your friends, you know what, I have an idea, I would like to develop an app. And some friends may say, oh, nonsense, that app already exists. Why would you do that? that, that how is that different from others? Well, you may not want to hear that, but the truth is that that will affect you in one way or another. You may develop an argument to prove why your product and service may be better than others or the advantages that it may have. Or you may speak to a friend and say, you know what, I've been thinking to study um, accounting because I want to make a lot of money. I want to be involved in businesses. 
and somebody may help you. For example, in head, somebody may say, hey, have you taken a test to identify what are your skill sets and where do you have, you're more prone to study and, and, and what is more, uh, what aligns with your strength and so on. And you may find that maybe accounting is not the best way to go, but it is engineering. It is uh, computer science, it is civil engineering, it's electrical engineering, it's chemistry, it's biology. It's the, the opportunities are numerous, but you need to give yourself the opportunity to interact with others, speak with others, share your ideas, ask questions, ask your parents, ask your family, Ask your friends, ask your neighbor, find out what is going on on the various professional areas that you aspire to be part of, to learn whether or not that is the place where you wanna be. Friends, customers, investors, employees will help shape your business venture or will help you shape the path that you want to take towards the success that you're seeking. I would like to take a moment to point out that all of these ideas are not new. These ideas have been going on for a long time because mostly they have been used to promote businesses. But as I mentioned earlier, they are easily transferable to help yourself, promote yourself, and create a personal brand. So keep these ideas in mind because you are at the beginning of your path. Most of you are very young people who have the time to determine what is that path. Others may be in the middle of the path, regardless of where you are, you should take the time to think about the first questions that we, that we discuss, which has to do with how do you perceive yourself? How would you like others to perceive yourself? Here we go. Let's take a look, a look at this continuum. What makes you, there are four dimensions that you would like to reflect and think about, where are you in this continuum? What makes you unique? Or what makes your business unique? What is it? Does it meet your customer needs? If you are thinking about yourself, about creating your personal brand, those services that you are offering or that you aspire to offer, are they, are they um, addressing your customer needs? Let's think about that because this is important. And this will help you identify ways in which you will not fault when you decide what is the business that you're going to take. How much? Does your consumers know about your brand? How much does your consumers know about who are you? Are you known? And if you're not, what can it be done to fix that? And also, how highly consumers regard and respect the brand? Let's twist that around. How highly consumers or your per, per, uh, potential customers regard and respect you as a provider of products and or services. And I'm providing in, in the note, I'm providing where this is found. And at the end of the presentation, you will find a number of references that will prove very helpful. And I uh, beseech you to please read many of these articles, peruse through them, become familiar with them because this information has the potential to change your life. 
Now, let's take a quick look here. There are two channels that you can use. There are two communication channels that are easily available to you. The first one is social media. The other one has to do with websites. And let's see how does that work. You are already familiar with social media. The Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter, the Pinterest, and on and on and on. You know them all. Or at least you're familiarized with many of them. Social media provides that platform and structures and promote yourself or your business at low or no cost. That is true. That is absolutely true. And that's why it's so popular. That's why so many people have, are, are already present in one or various of these uh, different platforms. I am pretty sure that many of you have either Facebook, Instagram, and or Twitter. Um, in my case, I know that um, I have at least the first three and um, I continue to use them very often. But as you have a presence in each one of these different platforms, you are leaving a digital footprint. Every single photo that you put in that Facebook, every single expression of love or hate, of like or dislike, it will be there. Consequently, be careful about how do you present yourself. Do not be bringing a discourse, an argument that at some point your potential customers and or employers will find and contradict what you, th what you say or how you wish others perceive you. You cannot be discussing about your commitment to an organization, your commitment to work, your commitment to the university. And then in your Facebook, you appear um, drunk or with drunken people, models, um, posting pictures that can be that can deter how others perceive you. Make Pablo, sure. Yes. I have a, I have a question because sure. uh, probably I can be very careful of my branding, of my image on on social media. But if someone take a picture that I don't know and and tag me, is that part of my you know of my personal branding as well? Of course, that is going to help, that is going to affect you. That is going to affect you. You need to be very, very careful of who you, who do you hang out with? Where do you hang out? What pictures are taken of you? The two things that I offer people most of the time is that if you want to be perceived as a professional and a business person, make sure that your Facebook, your Pinterest, your Twitter is treated as a platform for professional services, right? So you always you are always very proper. You make sure that your pictures are professional or professional-like, that you are dressed appropriately, that your messages are positive messages, are advices to others on how to um, acquire best practices or to um, or to rather implement best practices always positive information because that will come if you do not if you use inappropriate photos if you allow or you print or, or you post inappropriate pictures and inappropriate information at some point it will come back to bite you and you do not want that you want to make sure that if you want to be perceived and recognize as a professional or as an expert in a particular way, you need to show that. 
In Spanish, we have a saying, for those of you who do not speak Spanish, we have a saying that um, it's not good enough to be one thing, but you need to look it too. In other words, you need to look the same way or at least like what you preach, right? So you could not tell me that you're a religious person, but at the same time, you are throwing rocks at people or you are burning a house. And I'm using very extreme examples, but what I'm trying to bring to the table. Yeah, I totally agree with you. But for example, in this Christmas time or holidays that you know that we go into parties, that doesn't mean we have to be a poor people. We, we can hang, it out, hang, hang out with friends and everything. But my question is, if someone doesn't tag me, that doesn't appear or I will appear no matter no, what? You don't need to be, no. right. if they don't tag you, you do not appear. You okay. Do not so. appear. Yeah. So you can say, yeah, you can take a picture, but please don't tag me because I, I would like to prefer like a low a low profile in terms of hanging out. And if you have a page, if you have a page that is a professional page because you are making that professional page, you should only allow people who are either in your industry or potential employers or potential customers are people that you are going to either be doing business with or you are seeking for them to uh, contact you for a potential um, uh, for a potential business proposition, right? So you do not want to invite your friends there to make comments and things like that. You want to have a professional page. So you will invite only those people who are going to either be doing business with you or will be potential employers. And pro probably have to separate accounts, one for friends, family. Exactly. Okay, also exactly. I have to, <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> okay. That is correct, that is correct. So make sure people find positive information about yourself. Do not leave any negative comments, pictures hanging anywhere. Make sure that if anyone is to do a search, the information that is going to be found about you is always positive information about yourself. So many of these platforms are very easily, uh, are, are easy to set up. You can move forward with them. And, but they do have drawbacks and we will see what are those drawbacks. What is the downside to that? Do you remember in October the 5th, just recently a month ago or so, a couple of months ago or so, Facebook was down. And it took hours and hours and hours for that to uh, get corrected. So what do you do about it? And you yesterday, should. yesterday happened with Amazon for five hours. Uh, so, at that business a lot. And, and, and the one thing that you want to make sure is that your brand and how people find you online should not be predicated on 100% social media. You need to have also other forms of being rich such as a website. Let's take a look. So what are the drawbacks on this? You have Facebook. Very quick, you can set up a Facebook account. You can publish pictures. You can talk about uh, who you are, and what your likes or dislikes are. You can choose certain colors, but Facebook tells you it will put you in a box and it will say, you can only use what I give you. And you cannot set up a database in Facebook. You cannot tell where your customers are coming from. And some of you will tell me, oh yes, I can. If I pay them X, they will show me, um, they will reach out to different customers and it can help me out with my business. But you can never tell what that path is. In other words, you do not have analytics to perform there. At the same time, you cannot change the colors of Facebook. 
you cannot change many things about the setup of the page in your account. So you are only set up in a particular way depending on what Facebook or Pinterest or Twitter allows you to do. If you infringe, in other words, if you break their guidelines, your, your account will disappear. And, and when it does disappear, you don't have a business anymore or you don't have a presence online anymore. So what can you do to ensure that you have a presence online that is highly unlikely that is going to disappear? Well, you should have a website. And what are the advantages to having that website? The advantages are that you can control the look and feel of your page. You decide what does your logo looks like, what are the colors of your logo, what are the colors of the pages in your website. You control the look and feel of your website. You, have, you can manage analytics, access the statistics, who took what time to read this particular paragraph. How many people, how many visitors have been reading what I have to say? Perhaps they're interested in uh, the warranty section if I were in a business offering a service or a product. Perhaps they're interested in how, who am I? Who is this company? So perhaps they're spending a lot of time in the about. That means that these people are concerned about who are you before they do business with you. Also, can you set up a database? Your website will provide you with an ability to show your personality, to mess, that it allows you to set up a message that resonates with them, a message that touches people. And at the same time, it will help you set up a path for your customer's journey. You cannot do that with platforms. The drawback, you have to pay for this. This is not free. It will take time for you to set it up. I, I will take a moment to say to those um, students who are in Puerto Rico that you can reach out to me at pablo at nic.pr. If you are a resident of Puerto Rico, if you're a student of Puerto Rico, of a University of Puerto Rico, as many of you are, you are allowed to have a domain name for free. And then we can help you, teach you on how you can have a website for very little or no cost. But for those of you who are in the mainland, for my brothers in Queensborough, in Hostos, in, in, in Staten Island, and for those of you across the nation in Dallas or Colombia or Mexico, Colombia, let yeah. it be known, let it be known that you can also reach out to, um, for example, that US will help our students. And, and, and you haven't heard me talk about that come, right? I continue to talk about that US. For Mexico would be that MX. For Colombia would be that CO. These are your national country code top level domains. And all of these um, organizations have programs to reach out to students and they will help out students. So look it up, visit, NIC, that stands for Network Information Center that you ask, and, it, and you can reach out to them. In Mexico would be NIC.MX. In Colombia would be NIC.CO. And in Puerto Rico will be NIC.PR. So you can also reach out to us. You can reach out to me, to my, to me, to my email, to Pablo, P-A-B-L-O, at nic.pr, I'm going to type it in the chat and you will be yes. able to reach out to me. 
In the meantime, you're chatting, uh, putting that in the chat. Uh, let me tell you that we have eight minutes to to Bella, to 2 p.m. Uh, okay. So, and we want I'm them to if you have any questions, please. Uh, uh, so, recap. Feel free to ask. Feel free to ask. I am going to move along a little bit faster now because I am going to show you a couple of things. There are a number of different uh, domain names. The GTLDs, for example, the GTLDs, the CCTLDs is the generic top level domains, which are not um, associated to geographic region, for example, .com, .org. And then you have the top level domains. They're always the, the country code top level domains. The CCTLDs are two letters. So that's why I talked about that US, that PR that CO, that MX, these are country codes. And then you have sponsored top level domains. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Here we go. For example, for example, you have the classic TLDs, which are the com, net, org, biz, but you have the new GTLDs. And the new GTLDs are a little bit more um, precise regarding what you would, how would you like to be perceived? Look at this, that music. Is that the business you want to be in or you want to be recognized as a musician? Perhaps the domain name that you would like to obtain is not at that time. Perhaps it is that music. Are you a, a graphics designer or maybe a clothes designer, a designer of some kind? Perhaps you should consider buying that design. If you are into films as a critic or as a filmmaker, perhaps you would like to, to consider that film. And on and on and on. If you were selling books, perhaps you want that books or you're an artist, perhaps you want that art. There are many options out there and they can show that side of you and how you would like to be perceived. So keep that in mind. There are many options out there. Then you have the sponsored TLDs and you are familiar with some of them already, right? That gov, that edu. No one can have these domain names unless they are part of that particular community. You cannot aspire to obtain it, that edu if you are not a university. Similarly, you cannot buy that gov unless you are, you are a government agency. So these are separated from the rest of the domain names that are available to people. And most likely for the next, by 2025, we expect to have another billion people in the internet. But these individuals want to be able to reach out to an internet that is written in their own language. And the main names are already um, are already making making space for those people. So that red dice that you see there, that means that are you is the domain name for Russia. The orange one is for China. The green one is for Thailand and on and on and on. So there are many of them. And we, if you are serving to a particular community and you are using a particular language, perhaps you should consider some of these domain names. And that's one way in which you can reach out to those individuals. This is what the world looks like from the perspective of the country code top level domains. Take a look at that. Each one of these two letter codes stand for a particular country. The entire world is identified with two letter codes. And these are the country codes of each country. If you are one of those individuals who are pitching your products and services, or you would like to be higher in a particular country, perhaps you should consider purchasing one of these domain names. And as the, I mentioned earlier, the entire the, world. Pablo, the big ones were China and India. 
Oh yeah, they have over a million people. China has like 1.3, uh, China has about 1.3 billion people, the population. India has about 1.1. But this is not necessarily, um, as you can see that PR, I made it really big. We only have 3 million people, right? So the, 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 size, of the, the size of the letters is not representative of the uh, population of that particular country. I just want to highlight that mm -hmm. these are huge populations. And if you are in business and would like to do business with them, these are huge countries that you need to consider. And many, of, and many countries throughout the world are engaging the internet in their own language with their own domain names. So keep that in mind too, because there are a number of potential customers and or employers who are interested if you are to speak more than one language, something to think about. Regardless of where you're going, regardless of whether you are interested in, in developing a business, or you're interested in developing a personal brand, make sure that you have a strategy. And that strategy, and that strategy will involve making research, working on your identity, in positioning yourself, as I mentioned. Are you involved in music? Use that music domain name. Are you interested in communications? Make sure that you communicate using the right channel. Who is your target? Who are you speaking to? Who are your customers? Do they speak a different language other than English? Perhaps you should consider purchasing a domain name that represents, that, that calls out the letters in that particular language. Notice that I am not pitching you to purchase one domain name over the, over the other. What I am pointing out to you is that your identity online and, and essentially physically are intimately related. And you need to make sure that you take the time to think about what is it that you want to communicate how do you want to communicate that information? How are you want to be perceived? And you need to start working on that now. If you would like to be hired by Facebook, perhaps you should start writing articles about how Facebook is advantageous to people in one way or the other. If you're interested in getting hired by IBM or by Dell, or by um, Amazon, go to their website, go to their blogs, write articles about their products and services, show how you are knowledgeable about what they do. I am confident that these companies will take notice on you and they will contact you. And it would be fantastic if when they contact you, you can point them out to your social media platforms as well as a website. So that will provide you a competitive advantage. Pablo, can I interrupt for a second? Because it's 2 p.m. already, Puerto Rico time. And uh, this uh, we still have a lot of people uh, here at the, uh, at the at the room. I have two more slides and we're done. Yeah. No, but the, the ones who have to leave because have courses or any other commitments, make sure if you want the certificate, mm. uh, click on the link on the chat to submit your information. And if you want to see the the, the, the the end of this event, the recording will be available during this afternoon in the same page you uh, register at the bottom in previous uh, webinars, you will see uh, the recording and also the presentation. So go ahead, continue. Thank the ones who can stay, we have more, uh, we can stay a, a little bit longer, the ones who can stay and doesn't have Bella to leave. So go ahead, continue, Pablo, because this so topic my advice is- to you, My advice to you is take the time to think about what is it that you want to do. Reflect on that. 
What do you want to do? Where are you going? Education, education, education. If it wasn't clear, if you have a doubt, education. Education is the path out of poverty. Education is the path that will open doors. Education will be your ticket to your success. Do not hesitate. Invest in yourself. Educate yourself. Do not, do not, do not doubt it for a moment. Studying is not easy. It has complications. It takes you out of your way. I know there are friends and family and parties and all sorts of things happening. Invest in yourself. Education is the ticket to success. Take it from me. I have been studying for many years and opportunities do not come because you're lucky. Opportunities will come because you're prepared, because you're ready. And that's how the opportunities work now. Invest in yourself, educate yourself so that you can live the life that others dream about. Develop a strategy that supports the path that you choose. Regardless of what you want to do, regardless of whether you want to be a business person or you want to work for some company, develop a strategy. How do you want to be known? How do you want to be perceived? How are you going to be found? Manage your expectations. Don't give up. Difficult times will come. Difficult times will always come. But they will come more often if you do not educate yourself. That's for sure. Learn from the experiences of others. And I'm gonna give you a classic example. Napoleon Bonaparte attacked Russia in winter time and it suffered tremendous loss. Most of his army died. Many years later, Adolf Hitler attacked Russia in winter again. And he figured that he, this time around, he had technology. He had cars, he was better prepared. Tremendous loss. Learn from others. If you've seen others fail, think about how can you be better at it? What are the points that caused that failure? Do not repeat the same mistakes. Why would you do that? Why would you like to lose that time? So learn from others. Learn from the experience of others. Commit to your future. Educate, educate yourself. My advice to you, here we are. You can be inspired by this, by, by this, um, by this, by, by this uh, quotes. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life that you have imagined. There are those who look at things the way they are and ask why, but you can dream of things that never were and ask why not, why not? Miracles start to happen when you give as much energy to your dreams as you do to your fears. So invest in you, educate yourself, take advantage of hats, participate in as many in as many events as possible, reach out to them, talk to them, ask for their advice, and you will see that your success will come sooner than you thought. That said, these are the references that I use. They will be available. Thank you. It is an honor. It is an honor to be with you here. It is a privilege. And thank you all. Once again, happy holidays. And I wish, I wish every one and all of you much success. Work, work smart work hard, and I bid you peace and success. Thank you.
I love this image. So cool. <laughs> I'm printing. A, a, I'm doing a print screen. <laughs> we'll share with you later. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know we took a little bit seven minutes after after the hour, but it was a very interesting topic, very useful information and excellent information. Everybody in the chat is, is saying thank you. If you have any questions, the reminding people, we still have 80 people in the room. Uh, anyone who have a question, this is the time. Uh, thank you, Milagros, for your comment. Thank you all for your comments. Happy holidays and hope to see you next year. Any questions, this is the time. You can open your mic or use the chat. No questions? Okay, that, that information was definitely really clear. Thank you for Mela, uh, sharing your expertise because definitely you're an expert on this. And if you want to reach Pablo, uh, let us know either through us or directly to him as he uh, uh, mentioned before. Uh, uh, and thank you, any, uh, uh, everyone. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Stephanie, our consulting uh, in social media, actually talking about this. And Tish, our Tish Zambrana, our new executive assistant, assistant at the office. Thank you and happy holidays from the heads team. Pablo, your last words before we say goodbye for this semester. Once again, Dr. Montalvo and the staff that is supporting this, thank you so much for this opportunity. It's been an honor and a privilege to be able to uh, present to this uh, many students. And I, once again, I want to um, exhort everyone to make sure, follow your dreams. Do not be afraid, go for it. And soon you will be reaping the uh, fruits of your labor. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Happy holidays, be well. Thank you so much. And please remember to uh, click uh, on the, when you receive the email with the link to the electronic survey, please share your feedback. So to help us uh, develop new topics for next semester and new webinars to support your academic goals and also uh, to support the academic community. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful time during these holidays and hope to see you next year, 2022. Take care. Bye. Thank you all. Yeah. This is the Q, Q and L for to request the certificate. Please make sure if you want the certificate to click either on the link or use your phone and with the camera, click a uh, uh, pointer there so you can receive the link to submit your information. Any other announcements, Stephanie, if you want to say an announcement regarding the Zoom to students to join us, since you are one of the coordinators of this. Yeah, um, I am just inviting, let me put the information about the event. I am just inviting all those students that would like to know more about if they want to transfer from a university or if they want to know more about other programs, it, it, it will be free of charge. They, you, you only have to register at the sum.com and exactly. it will be on February 16 and 17. Exactly. This is and totally thank you, and thank you. Of course, this is totally free of charge students in Puerto Rico. And for the webinars, remember that either from the States, Colombia, Mexico, everyone can connect. So we will make sure you receive all of our information so you can take advantage of these webinars. Take care. Thank you, Pablo. Hope to see you before the year's end. If not, Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. And thank you to all. Have a great day and soon happy weekend as well, since tomorrow is Friday. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.